Today I'm making mushroom and peas in a tomato curry. So let's start with the basic ingredients. I have tomatoes, tomatoes, green chilies, some ginger, chopped garlic, cilantro for garnishing, our two main components of the dish, mushrooms and peas, few drops of lemon, and our basic ingredients, that's salt, cumin seeds, red pepper, some curry powder, or you can use turmeric, and some garam masala. So I have some hot oil in this pan, and I'm going to add some cumin seeds. Our oil is ready, it's hot. So I'm going to add onion. Right away, we'll add chopped garlic and ginger. And to make onions cook faster, we'll add some salt according to the taste. And if you like spice, green chili goes next. We'll let our onions cook. Wait till they get golden brown before we add our other golden brown. So I'm going to add tomatoes next. We will also add our spices at this point, that is red powder, red chili powder and turmeric or curry powder. These should be according to the taste. If you don't like spicy food, then don't add too much red chili powder. We'll let it cook. And once the onions uh, once the tomatoes are a little bit cooked, we'll add water and milk. If you don't want too much watery mushrooms and peas, then don't add water and milk. When you go to restaurants, you'll notice that it's mushroom and peas there is a lot more heavier, and that's because they add cream. So I have substituted cream with milk. So our turmeric, our curry powder gives it nice color. Look at this beautiful tomato curry. Tomatoes and mushrooms go really well together. That's why mushroom butter is normally in a tomato gravy. So we'll add a little bit water, not too much because mushrooms are going to leave some water as well. And we'll add a little bit of milk. Alright, so our tomato curry is ready and now we are going to add mushrooms and peas in it. After we've added our mushrooms and peas, we'll let it cook for another 5 minutes. And then we'll garnish it, add garam masala, some lemon, cilantro and coriander and it should be ready. So we'll mix it really well. It has been around 10 minutes. Our dish looks almost ready. All it needs is 
a little bit of garam masala that is blend of Indian spices and we'll garnish it with cilantro leaves look at that beautiful color coriander or cilantro is a wonderful spice it not only gives a beautiful color to the recipe but it also has a fantastic aroma now we're just gonna add one last bit few drops of lemon mix it really well and our delicious mushroom mutter or mushrooms with peas in tomato curry are ready